Hey everybody, welcome on the Glide Slope. This is the third in our series of sim tutorials where we try to um, show simmers how to run some real world stuff in their simulators. And today we're going to try to simulate a short field takeoff um, over an obstacle. We are at Langton Airfield MT60 in Montana, right on the banks of the Flathead River. And we're in the A2A Cherokee 180. And we're fired up here and ready to go. Um, one of the things that is cool is we are running Warbick scenery and it knows it's in November so it's put um, snow on the trees and on the ground and it looks like the Flathead River has got ice on it. And so that's cool. Um, but w let's get to the procedure. So um, short field takeoff with an obstacle uh, is a pretty straightforward procedure. Basically you want to climb at the best low climb speed rate that you can, um, which would be VX. In the Cherokee, that means we start with two notches of flaps, 25 degrees. If you're in a Cessna, it would be 10 degrees, I think is the procedure. Um, we're going to put ourselves right on the very end of the runway, using as much runway as possible. We put our feet on the brakes, run up to full power, check and make sure our power is good, make sure that our engine instruments are in the green. Then we release the brakes, use plenty of right rudder to uh, make sure that we deal with the P factor which will tend to make the airplane turn uh, nose left. And then as soon as we are able to rotate, the lowest rotation speed in this airplane is about 52, 55 knots. We rotate and then um, climb at 63 knots, which is our um, our shortest, or I'm sorry, our lowest possible climb speed. That would be VX for us. Um, we climb at VX um, until we are clear of the obstacle. Um, then we level out the airplane so it can gain speed slowly retract the flaps and then we're at VY which is our uh, normal cruising or climbing speed we will then climb at VY. So we take we rotate at 52, climb at 63, when we're over obstacle level out, speed up to 79 while taking out our flaps and then climb out. The one thing to look for is when we take out our flaps the airplane tends to sink um, because flaps actually provide lift so we got to be sensitive to that. Um, so 25 degrees of flaps Let's make sure the engine is leaned appropriately because we're at 3,400 feet. That sounds about right. And we will taxi out to the edge of our field. I love how it puts snow on this. That's very cool. Come on, baby. Until we're off the uh, strip so it's making it hard to taxi. There we go. Look it blew snow up past us. That's a cool touch. Okay right at the edge of the runway taking up as much runway as we can. That's pretty good there. Okay <clears throat> I'm slipping in my chair. Feet on the brakes. 25 degree flaps. Fuel pumps on. Lights are on. Full power. We are good in the green. We've got good power. Release the flaps. Airspeed's alive. Rotate 52. Speed up. Okay, climb at 65. So we are clear of our obstacle, which is those trees right at the front of the cowl. We are clear, now we nose down, so the airplane can accelerate. One notch of flaps. Next notch of flaps. And now we're at a 79, now we climb a VY. So that is a short field takeoff over an obstacle. And uh, worth practicing. Hope you are able to get it. Make it work in your own sim. And we got off pretty quick there. That was a 2,400 strip, 2,400 foot strip. I'd say we were off in probably 1,000 feet. Didn't take too much uh, runway to get going there, even at this higher altitude. So, I guess the only thing that to do now is to sightsee. So let's turn. Look at the Flathead River. So that's the latest in our 
simulation, uh, procedure simulation series. Next, let's see, we'll probably do landings. We'll do a soft field landing, and then in the one after that, we'll probably do a short field landing. Look at these mountains up here. That is cool. We are just south of the Canada border. That there is Vulture Peak and Rainbow Peak. They're at 9,800 feet. And then the Kintla Peak is to the side of that. Pretty cool. All right, everybody. So from virtual Montana, thanks for watching on the Glide Slope. And uh, if you have questions about the sim or how it works, feel free to check it out at the website, www.onthegliteslope.net. And uh, thanks again for watching. I think I'm gonna do some mountain cruising.